Hi everybody, I just wanted to talk about 10 things that I just did not like, that I've tried and it just hasn't worked for me. A couple are high end and some are low end. The first, I got this about a month ago, it's the Jurgens All Purpose Face Cream. This huge thing was only $3. And it's, it's pink, it's like a lotion, it's pretty thick. Um, I read good reviews on it on Makeup Alley, but unfortunately this made me break out all around here. It took me two weeks to finally get my skin clear again, and I'm just going to give this to my friend, but if you're acne prone, do not try this. It took two weeks, maybe a week and a half, for it to... Um, break me out and sometimes if I got it too much in my eyes like under here it would burn burn <laughs> if you're sensitive eye sensitive skin this is a no again this is a Jurgens all-purpose face cream it smells good but it did not work for me and I pretty much got everything from the Mac Maryland this is Silver Screen. I thought the other eyeshadows were a lot better. This is pretty gritty. I tried using this with MAC Fix, but it just... It's not... It doesn't show up at all unless you use it with Fix or something, and it didn't find it that great. Personally, I have um, Urban Decay eyeshadow and this is strip and this is so much better look at how much pigment I have there and then above you can't even see the other one I highly recommend that one though from Urban Decay and the Rimmel Scandal what is it? Scandalize Rimmel? it's the same kind of concept as my favorite the Maybelline Plush And that's the brush, but I have flakes everywhere when I use this. It works okay through the eyes, but then I have fallout all day, and it just flakes on me like crazy, so I don't really like that. And I really thought I was going to love the YSL Under Eye Concealer Brightens. I've tried it so many different ways, trying to, I tried a brush, I tried my fingers, I tried using more, tried using less, and it just looks cakey throughout the day, and it just doesn't work for me. I love the MAC concealer that I use, so this is a no-go for me. I thought I would love the Urban Decay El Dorado. It's a gold eyeliner. Maybe I'm just too pale for it to work for me. This might work better for someone who's darker skin toned but it just kinda made me look dead I don't know but I did not like it and of course I lost my receipt so I couldn't return it and the Ulta this is the coal eyeliner in Halo it's white I guess I could use it as an all-over base. I tried to use it for my waterline and it didn't work very well. It pretty much just washed right off, so that's a no-go for that. And I don't really care for, even though I have four of them, the Urban Decay liquid liners. When I take them off, they're really hard to take off because it gets all like hardened kind of and it like kind of rips off in pieces I don't know how to explain it but I don't like taking these off I prefer the Sephora liquid liners definitely plus the Sephora ones are only like eight nine bucks I used to love the Mac fling eyebrow pencil I just found if it was too hot in my room even if I was going so soft it would, um, it would break off and I would still have to use the MAC Omega in my brows and it's just easier to use the MAC Omega and it's much more natural for me. And the last two things, this is the Rimmel Waterproof Eye Definer. This is in Deep Ocean. It has the pencil and then a smudger on the other side. 
it just smudges like crazy, crazy, crazy on me, and it did not look good at all, so I do not like these. I prefer the Prestige um, Drugstore Eyeliners, personally. And the last thing is the Bare Minerals Well Rested Powder. Um, it just... Maybe it's just because I'm getting older and I have these fine lines and it would settle in my fine lines. And I do not like that at all and this is the last thing I have to talk about. Um, if you have any questions, email me or if you like any of this stuff, let me know. And if you didn't like any of this stuff, let me know. Thanks and remember to subscribe. Bye.